Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to VR Essentials. Today we have some breaking news as Facebook blocks any news from being shared or viewed in Australia. What does it mean for Oculus users? Let's explore. Hi guys, how's it going? Bonjour. I'm quite concerned by today's news, to be honest. Um, I think this is really big. This is really something that we need to pay attention to because this could have real repercussions for the future of society and also virtual reality. So let's talk about what's just happened in terms of what Facebook's done, what they've decided to do, what it really means. Let's, let, let, let's just talk about this. So Facebook has decided to basically ban anyone in Australia from being able to share or view any news whatsoever. So no one in Australia can get to know what's going on within their own country at any level whatsoever when they're logged in to the social media platform that is Facebook. First of all, I'm really sorry to hear this if you're from Australia because this is quite concerning. There's a lot that's been going on in Australia, not just COVID, but also huge wildfires and a whole bunch of other things. And apparently Australians rely a lot on Facebook in order to disseminate the news and being able to know what's going on. So this affects not just normal people who would go on the platform, but also any business or any governmental agency whatsoever. And also not just people who are in Australia itself, but people who are outside trying to get information as to what's going on, for example, back home or perhaps financial institutions or businesses who deal together relying on news via Facebook. But this all started because Facebook take content from other people and allow normal people to share, for example, links from BBC or from ABC News or whatever it might be into the news feeds. And Facebook, unfortunately, by allowing this to happen, are apparently taking away revenue from local media outlets, which is putting a lot of pressure on these media outlets and potentially some of them going bust. Guys, I really feel we should show our solidarity towards Australia and the Australians. They're an amazing bunch of people. It's an amazing country and they're great supporters of VR and AR technologies. And this is a global issue. Let's not forget that this puts a lot of stress on freedom of speech as well. I mean, what's next? We know already that Facebook you know, when people are trying to upload games to the Oculus Store, they have to adhere to the tracking policies and submit an audit, which Facebook do every year, of what information gets tracked. And this includes all your party and your voice chats and friends and all this kind of stuff. So what's next? Are they going to start, you know, banning certain things that you're talking about when you're having a conversation with people? when they launch Facebook Horizon, which is anticipated to come out in a few months time, you know, what's going to happen there? Are they going to start to put some kind of tracking thing so that people can't have certain conversations or they're going to make, you know, ban people from their platforms because they're sharing news amongst each other? What, what is it? You know, what, what's going, it, it really puts a lot of stress on all this kind of stuff. It's much bigger than, you know, what it is right now. So. Now, Facebook have been accused by the not just countries all over the world, but also in Australia, are also being taken to court for antitrust and anti-competitive breaches in the laws. Um, so it's not the first time they're in hot water. However, Facebook decided to take the plunge when they heard that Google had actually paid a fee to Rupert Murdoch, who's a media mongol, who owns a lot of different media outlets throughout the world. and they decide, no, that's it. We're not going to, we're going to draw land in the sand. We're not going to pay this guy any fees whatsoever or pay any fees to the government uh, who could then perhaps reuse this money to basically pay all the various different media outlets within Australia. Facebook also have similar issues in Canada, apparently, and the EU. However, because the United Kingdom makes up for a bigger portion of the revenue slice that they're getting compared to, for example, Australia, they have agreed to pay some money to some media outlets in the United Kingdom. They're just not agreeable to do the same thing all over the world. Now, at the moment, people who are in Australia 
can still access their Facebook account. And Facebook did mention they're willing to work with the government in trying to find some way forward. However, it could go either way. This could put added stress on Facebook because other countries could also follow and this doesn't really sit well with people who potentially are going to be spending hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars on products that belong to Facebook, both in terms of advertising, but also on the Oculus Quest or future VR headsets that may belong or products. For example, the watch that they're supposed to be coming out with or the AR glasses or all these kind of things that are related back to Facebook as Facebook um, you know, undoubtedly are going to force people to have to use a Facebook login in order to access all these various different hardware.